Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Monday, October 13th. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. We're here in the Atlantic, uh, Tropical Storm Gonzalo, the big story. We'll get right to it here. This formed yesterday afternoon and uh, has intensified a little bit since it's formed and is now moving very close to Antigua, which we'll see on the radar here, uh, the center coming by, and the recon planes getting in there. Didn't get any data yesterday to the public, but today we're receiving it just fine. The pass shows 993 millibars just a few minutes ago. You can see the winds right near the core are not really exceeding 50 knots. Uh, at flight level, which only supports about 45 knots or 50 mile per hour winds at the surface near the center, but we have patches farther away from the center of 55 plus knots at flight level and that supports 50 knots or 60 mile per hour winds near the surface and that's what the NHC has Gonzalo at as of the 8 a.m. intermediate advisory, 60 mile per hour sustained winds and a pretty nice pressure here despite what has been a rather open structure if we look at the radar here we see this really nice hooking structure into the center right here Antigua is kind of buried in the color right here in the uh, southwestern part of what you could kind of call a formative eye wall but a very incomplete eye wall northeast winds of 45 miles per hour here on this island as this is now moving west northwest and to uh, make it pretty close uh, to St. Kitts here on its way in the, toward this direction uh, but you see the open uh, core here, and this has allowed some of this dry air uh, to prevent what could have been rapid intensification if this was in a better environment. Uh, but every tropical cyclone wants to intensify. It's just a matter of whether the environment will allow it. And we did have some very dry air uh, getting toward the core yesterday and uh, the sounding out of St. Martin, which for reference is up here to the northwest of the storm last night sounding showing lots of deep dry air in a deep layer above about 850 millibars above the boundary layer very dry and that has been getting pulled on the back side of Gonzalo now we see on the radar that that is still keeping the core a little open on the south side here and you see some of it getting injected into the southern spiral bands as well however slow strengthening has occurred despite that and uh, what we look for with this situation is if the core manages to close off, you can get a lot more strengthening than has occurred already. So if this uh, very primitive eye wall that's trying to form here on radar that you see this hook, if this can close off and do a full circle, that's when Gonzalo could really take off and become a hurricane. And right now we're looking for some of these clouds on the backside to start filling this area in. Uh, the core needs protection and uh, down here on the dry side of the storm, if enough, if enough thunderstorms form here and start mixing this dry air out, then this core may be able to close off and this could become a much more formidable storm. The question is whether this occurs before more of these islands are impacted. Right now the official forecast track takes this um, not over Puerto Rico anymore, but uh, over the Virgin Islands, and it becomes a hurricane north of Puerto Rico. Yesterday they had it a hurricane before Puerto Rico, which did seem a little bit bold to me, but it has strengthened a little bit overnight, so this is not that far off the mark now uh, for this to become a hurricane near the Virgin Islands, and there is a hurricane watch out for the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico itself. Puerto Rico will be on the back side of the storm, and this side here uh, we might see this. The recon hasn't gone through this quadrant yet, but we will probably see lighter winds over here than we see over here. The strong side of the storm is where all the convection is, and that's likely what the plane is going to find. So if the storm passes northeast of Puerto Rico, uh, chances are they will get the lighter end of the uh, weather from this system, but always worth being prepared just in case the center comes closer to the island than anticipated. The Virgin Islands, on the other hand, St. Martin, St. Kitts, likely to get the full brunt of the core of Gonzalo, and we can see from Antigua, 45 mile per hour wind sustained already in the edge of the, of the core here. There's probably even stronger winds up here. And so there are some nasty conditions coming through, certainly tropical storm force, and uh, this may have a shot at bringing hurricane conditions to the, Vir to the Virgin Islands. We'll have to keep an eye on this. This is managing to strengthen fairly well, despite all the dry air getting pulled into the core. Uh, so Gonzalo uh, is something to be uh, ready for if you're in the Northeast Caribbean islands. And beyond that, probably won't be affecting um, anybody anytime soon except for potentially scraping Bermuda up here again the forecast track you can see recurves it here and you know it, it's a little too close to comfort uh, for comfort in the five-day forecast for Bermuda still lots of room for little changes that could bring it closer or farther away but this will likely be a strengthening hurricane out here we talked about yesterday its true moment to shine will come after Puerto Rico and that is still true even though this is strengthening a little bit more than I thought might have happened yesterday 
before Puerto Rico, you can still see that there are some struggles for the overall environment of the system with this dry air. Once it moves north of Puerto Rico, this upper low that's currently near a Hispaniola coming south slowly is going to allow a very nice upper level environment north of Puerto Rico for Gonzalo and uh, this kind of upper low kind of negatively tilting the trough here as the storm comes to the northeast of it is a favorable setup for outflow of the system which allows it to essentially breathe better and allows the pressure to fall even more so by the time this gets by Puerto Rico we could see this go all the way to a major hurricane as it recurves here and that could be something for uh, Bermuda to potentially uh, keep an eye on just something Something to watch uh, to see if the track comes closer to you as time goes on. But once again, there's the official forecast uh, now calling for a hurricane after Puerto Rico, uh, but could just as easily bring hurricane conditions to the Virgin Islands before moving that way, which is why the hurricane watch is out. Tropical storm warnings out for the northern Lesser Antilles and for Puerto Rico itself, uh, definitely going to be a nasty little system coming through here during the next 24 hours or so. Beyond that, strengthening and then potentially getting close to Bermuda to bring some impacts there, but still several days out. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.